Hi everybody, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Now I have a riddle for you this week. What's yellow and black and can sting you? Yeah, there's all kinds of possible answers, right? And that's what we're going to talk about this week on Nature to Go. What are those yellow and black stripey things? It can be kind of confusing because some of these things that are flying around are slender. Some of them are fuzzy. Some of them have long legs. They all have very, very similar colors. And probably the easiest way to answer the riddle is to say they're all wasps. I know you're probably thinking, but those were just bees we were looking at. Well, that's because bees are actually a kind of wasp. Here you can see a comparison of four of the kinds of creatures we're likely to come across that have similar colors. Now, they're not the same sizes, but they have that yellow and black pattern on them. Two are kinds of bees, but like I said, they're actually a kind of wasp. And then we've got paper wasps and yellow jackets. At some point, as all of these different creatures were evolving and adapting, honeybees started using pollen and nectar to feed their larvae rather than using insects. So they split off of the line of where the other kinds of wasps are. When you look closely at whether it's the honeybees you see here or if it's bumblebees, they tend to be more round in shape. They tend to be a little fuzzier. The paper wasps and yellow jackets, they tend to be a little more streamlined. They have a narrow waist, and their body is very smooth looking. These are the predators. They're going to be carnivores or omnivores. And in the fall, we tend to see them a little bit more because they're changing their diet. They're getting desperate for food, and so all of a sudden, we see a lot more of them around. So in this particular clip, you can see there are two different kinds of slender bodied creatures going after the grape jelly. The bigger ones, those are the paper wasps. They have long legs that dangle when they fly. The smaller ones are the yellow jackets. They're a little bit more aggressive. They tend to nest in the ground. Paper wasps make their hanging nests. If you've been stung, it's probably by yellow jackets or by paper wasps. Bees don't usually sting people unless you're a beekeeper and then you're more likely to get stung. So the yellow stripey thing could be something like a bumblebee. It could be something like a honeybee. Or you could look for those long legs, smooth bodied paper wasps or the smaller yellow jackets. They're just a few of those yellow and black stripey things that we keep our eyes out for because we're worried they might sting us. So I hope you have a little better idea of how to identify some of those yellow stripey things that are zooming around. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.